Gloria Williams sentenced to 18 years behind bars, the same number of years she kept Kamaya Mobley, a child that was not hers. There are no winners and no losers in this case. This is a very sad case. The admitted kidnapper emotionless as the sentence was read. Meanwhile, relief for Kamaya's family. Hopefully we can bring home more kids. Hopefully this situation help, help other parents. to prison. It comes 20 years after she kidnapped Mobley from what was then University Hospital, now UF Health. She was sentenced to 18 years on the charge of kidnapping and five years on the charge of interfering with custody, which she will serve concurrently. She will also get 511 days credit for time served. We have several crews and a legal expert covering the latest developments from court. We begin with News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson, who's live from the Duval County Court. Scott. The website, thedailymail.com, has talked to Kamaya Mobley's biological mother today saying she thinks Glory Willems should have gotten the death penalty. That's similar to what she said on the stand about a month ago saying she wanted Williams to get the maximum possible punishment. But today in court, it just came out to 18 years in prison. Gloria Williams was shackled as she entered court in her orange inmate jumpsuit. With her attorneys by her side, Williams stood practically expressionless as Judge Marianne Ajo wrapped up a two-decade-long case in seconds. She will serve 18 years in the Florida State Prison. She is awarded credit for time served, which is 511 days. The courtroom was packed with family, onlookers, and reporters. Noticeably absent in court was Kamaya Mobley, the woman who Williams kidnapped in 1998 and then raised as her own. The state attorney who prosecuted this case says it is rare having a victim who wasn't truly angry at the defendant. That was very unique, and it was very difficult to navigate the joy in finding their daughter, but still the betrayal and knowing that she still had feelings for that family. Glory Williams pleaded guilty to kidnapping and interference of custody. Judge Ajo sentenced her to 18 years in prison. It's unclear whether Kamaya will visit Williams in prison. That will be up to the Department of Corrections, but I don't believe there's any legal prohibition for their contact. And as bailiffs escorted Williams from court today, she will have 18 years to contemplate her crime, the amount of time it took for Kamaya to grow up. And there's one other thing about her incarceration. She is not allowed to make any sort of money off this news story. Say if someone wanted to do a documentary, maybe make a movie, Glory Williams cannot profit off of that while she's behind bars. We're live downtown at the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, can Gloria Williams appeal this sentence? Uh, yeah, she can. She has 30 days to do that. The judge says you have to do it by then if you do want to make any sort of appeal. Back to you. All right, Scott Johnson reporting to us live from the courthouse. Thank you, Scott. Kamaya Mobley's biological family is now closing a chapter in what's been an emotional journey. News for Jack's reporter Ethan Calloway joining us live outside the hospital where this story began 20 years ago. He spoke with Kamaya's family members today after they learned about William's sentence. Ethan? And Kenton, 1998, this was University Medical Center. Of course, now it is UF Health. In so many ways, it feels like this story came full circle today. Kamaya Mobley's kidnapper sentenced to 18 years in prison, but her family emphasizing today it is going to be a very long healing process. The woman who kidnapped Kamaya Mobley and raised her as her own, showing little emotion as she learned her sentence. Noticeably absent from the courtroom today, Kamaya herself. Minutes after the judge read Gloria Williams' sentence, Kamaya's father and grandmother spoke briefly with reporters. I first would like to thank God for the safe return of my daughter Kamaya. I knew walking into this courtroom this morning that there would be no winners in this situation. Despite today's sentences, I would like to deal with the emotion told this ordeal has taken on my family. In a prepared statement, Kamaya's father, Craig Aiken, expressed the pain his family felt over the past two decades. He talked about closing this chapter of their lives and moving forward with his daughter. The gratitude felt for those who worked to find Kamaya after so many years, made clear by Aiken and his mother. So at the end of the day, I would like to say thanks to the prosecutor, the investigators, Duval County and all my supporters, and the National Center for Admission and Escorted Children for bringing my, my baby home. I'm glad it's over with, where I can start my grandmama day and love my grandbaby as my own. And I love y'all. Leaving the courthouse as they begin a new chapter of their lives.
And as I mentioned, Kamaya Mobley was not in the courtroom today. We did have a chance to also speak with her great grandmother outside the courthouse today. She tells us she believes she knows where Kamaya was for the hearing today. We'll have that coming up at six o'clock. For now, we're live at UF Health, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.